Hello everyone. Today's uh, topic of discussion is understanding polymorphism in system airlock, which is presented by Vstream Semiconductor. Polymorphism. What do you mean by polymorphism? Let's take the real life example. Let's see the below image. So in the image, there is a man, which is only one, but it takes multiple roles. Like he is a father to his child. He is an employee, he is a boy and many more, right? So this is what the polymorphism man is only one, but he takes the multiple roles. That is the real time example. So similar way we have the class. So in the class, we'll have the members and the method. So there are the method in the class. Okay. So the method will take the different, different homes, right? So that is the polymorphism in the OOPS, right? So what polymorphism says, polymorphism provide an ability for an object to take on the many forms, right? So method handle of the parent class can be made refer to the child method. This allows the polymorphism or we say, different form of the same methods right in and while understanding the polymorphism we need to understand the oops rule what is the oops rule any extended class object can be assigned to the base class but vice versa is not possible right so what he says any child method right can be assigned to the parent Okay, so any child class can be assigned to the parent. Vice versa is not possible. We can't assign the parent to the child. The child class we can assign to the parent. That is a polymorphism. There is one more condition for the polymorphism is that. So in the base class, wherever method is there, for that we have to mention that method as the virtual. If you mention the virtual, then only, then and then only one only, we can override the method by the child class so virtual keyword is used in the base class to write the method by the child class right so let's understand more detail with the practical example right so this eda playground is the website where we can test all the different examples uh, this is open source so let's take the example so there is a class okay bc base class right so in the base class there are two methods actually one is nvm method second is the vm method both the methods are actually just displaying the prints the first method is displaying the bc nvm second method is the one which is displaying the base class nvm right so now this VM is the one, okay, which we wanted to override it. Okay, so that's why we will mention it is a virtual. Okay, so VM overrided is possible because of the virtual keyword. Okay, so this is the base class which has two uh, functions, NVM function and a VM function. NVM function we didn't mention with virtual keyword. VM function we mentioned with the virtual keyword. Now let's create the derived class from this base class okay so we create a derived class extended from the same base class so now in this derived class we have the same methods nvm and vm right so nvm and vm so nvm is the one which will say derived class nvm and vm will say derived class vm okay right so this is the derived class which we mentioned with the virtual keyword. Now, in the top module, we let's create the handle. So this is a base class and these two are the handle bc underscore h, bch underscore h. Now there is a direct class, direct class handle. Now for the base class and the direct class, let's create the object with the new function. So we created the object, right? So in the polymorphism, what we do, we assign the direct class to the 
base class right so this is the derived class handle we assign to the base class right so now what will happen when we assign the derived class handle to the base class so all the methods of the derived class will be assigned to the base class but the condition is that whatever functions or the method mentioned with the virtual keyword that only we can will be able to override it so if you go here there is a vm method in the base class this only we can override it right this we can nvm method we can't override it so what we have done we have assigned the direct class to the base class so this vm function okay is assigned to this vm function so this dc and uh, colon vm okay will be coming in place of bc underscore vm right so right now here direct class we handle assigned to the base class handle right so here right so next uh, next thing so here we are just displaying the prints from the nvm and vm this is the base class prints okay this is the direct class prints actual polymorphism here we will understand in detail so here bcs nvm right dc nvm okay and you see here dc vm so nvm right nvm is not getting overwritten right because we don't didn't mention with the virtual keyword now bcs underscore vm this is getting overwritten right because we mention it with virtual keyword in the base class so vm will come dc underscore vm right so whatever there in the whatever print there in the derived class same print will come in the base class if you do the polymorphism okay so this line is very much important and this line is the very much important which clarify the polymorphism right so let's run it right so you see here base class nvm correct direct class vm okay so whatever method is there in the base class vm method that we have written over written with the direct class method okay so this is what the practical example of polymorphism okay so that's all about polymorphism so thank you for watching thank you